hey guys in this video we are going to discuss about information gathering and uh, in our previous video we have discussed about what is penetration testing and uh, different phases of penetration testing and if you are a new viewer for this channel and you don't you didn't watch those videos i have uh, mentioned the link in the description box go kindly watch that for a better understanding and uh, as per our previous video the very first phase is uh, pre-engagement phase so i have given a uh, much explanation in that video itself uh, and so straight away uh, it contains a nda document and uh, legalized things so i'm directly getting into the i'm directly going into the information gathering part so let's discuss information gathering uh, is all about gathering information about the target so as a penetration tester uh, you'll be performing whether it may be a white box or a black box or gray box pen testing you will be uh, starting with the information gathering phase and this information gathering phase uh, you'll be gathering all the information about the target and it it uh, it is uh, of two types one is uh, passive information gathering and active information gathering so there will be around two videos for passive information gathering and uh, two videos for uh, active inf uh, information gathering so i i don't want to mess up uh, each other so i am doing it as a part by part video please kindly cooperate with me and uh, first in this video we'll be discussing about passive information gathering and it is a part one video uh, so what is uh, information passive information gathering so for example for your for a beginner level understanding i can tell it as publicly available information gathering is called as uh, passive information gathering so it you won't uh, get a direct contact with the target so you won't uh, get into their server or you won't uh, log your ip into their server like that uh, for example nmap comes under uh, comes under uh, active penetra active information gathering whereas google docs comes under uh, passive information gathering so uh, while using nmap you will be directly scanning their ip and you will be uh, directly in contact with the uh, target but whereas uh, when it comes to passive information gathering that is google docs you will be just uh, using the docs uh, in google and you will be gathering the information so such uh, such type of activity is called as passive information gathering you won't be directly in contact with the target so you'll be uh, searching for the publicly available information so that's that's what called as passive information gathering so the very first uh, thing uh, in passive information gathering is google search engine uh, most of us would have uh, used google.com but there is a uh, another phase for google.com normally we will be searching hi how are you like this we will be searching on that hi how are you so like this the, like this way you will be uh, we will be searching so but this is a normal human being searching but we are hackers right so we do, we should use uh, google in a different way so that's what we are going to do um, for uh, you can use uh, operators to do uh, do to ga in, gather information to do information gathering so previously if you are a previous subscriber you would have know that we have already posted a video on google docs but no worries i'll explain you uh, in detail in this video also okay so the first uh, operator that we are going to use is site so site in our this is a, uh, let's take uh, linkedin as our target linkedin sorry site uh, linkedin.com so what i'm going to do uh, i'm filtering i'm using this operator to filter the result and uh, making the re making the result to show only for the linkedin.com that the mentioned uh, url okay so now you can uh, scroll and see all the uh, related links that google has shown me is related to my target that is linkedin.com okay so i then i ju i'm just using the operator site uh, for this for doing this you can use either uh, google.com or microsoft microsoft would be better microsoft.com so this here you can see the following uh, results are related to microsoft.com okay uh, everything each and every result that we have got uh, is related to uh, microsoft.com this command will show you the pages related to uh, microsoft.com but it will uh, but the main disadvantage of uh, this 
uh, particular operator is it will also show you the main home page okay uh, here these are all the main home page and sub page slags write that slugs write that okay so this are uh, this is called a slug and uh, it will show you those things also for uh, by this way you can gather the subdomain to uh, to gather the subdomain you can uh, filter out the result with the same operator www.microsoft.com so this will omit all the okay i mean i left this one so here you can see the difference between the previous result and the uh, and this result here you can see that it has uh, we have got the home page too and uh, getting uh, and making us to frustrated state uh, so it's it's making somewhat an odd thing right uh, for uh, for getting the home page but uh, using this we can only we will be only uh, getting the subdomains so we don't uh, get mess up so we have omitted the home page and uh, we have we have got only the subdomains here you can see that uh, we have got all the subdomains like this way you can use uh, use it for any targets you want so for example linkedin.com and here too we need to mention it as linkedin.com so you can use anything any target uh, and uh, don't forget to document anything that you are getting so while doing penetration testing the documentation is the very important phase just open up a notes and keep on taking notes whether it may be offline or online notes and i would suggest you to go with online notes because uh, online notes will be more convenient for you and uh, take notes uh, you can use either google docs or uh, microsoft docs lots of docs are available online docs are available so use those things and they are safe and reliable okay so you can use our either uh, if you are using kali linux you can use leaf pad for taking notes okay so make a documentation on these uh, results try to uh, try to move on to uh, try to move on between uh, switch or uh, switch between uh, each and every pages uh, so you can get lots of informations in the uh, in those uh, google pages okay so to uh, move around to page uh, page by page uh, to find more result about the target okay so this is the command to get uh, the subdomain and even you can search for the file type there is operator called as file type which will show you uh, the exact file type available on the public in on the internet okay file type you need to mention it pdf space and it penetration testing this command uh, will get files that are uh, that are in pdf format uh, with the title penetration testing you can see that uh, we have got something okay here control f penetration testing it contains penetration testing so that's why it has shown us uh, that particular result okay so like this way you can even gather uh, passwords it's okay password and it can be in a, uh, in a xls format so excel format you can search like this you can make you can modify your own operand and uh, you can search for the file you want so uh, for xls password sensitive cases you can use these operators there are uh, in title operator which which will search search for the um, particular phrase in in the title okay so it will search for the title and uh, search in the title and it will show you the result here you can see that all the titles contains uh, this particular tag and you can even use in url hi so this will show uh, all the urls that contains hi so here you can see that hi 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 like that uh, this in url tag will show you all the urls that contains that specific tag that we have mentioned okay 
like this way you can uh, use even catchy you can get the catchy of a particular website linkedin.com so this will give you all the catchies okay here uh, this is the catchy of a uh, website of that particular website okay like this way you can gather the catchy web catchy from google okay uh, there are uh, lots of uh, operators available like this uh, i'll if i explain each and everything uh, like this way uh, it will it will take more time so i'll stop with this because the usage the usage is same as like this so i'll mention about the operator in the description box and how to use it and what's the use like that i'll give a description in the uh, description box so i'll give a detailed description about those things so you can uh, read it from there and now we are going to discuss about gd ghdb okay google hacking database which is uh, shortly known as G, D, ghdb so it's mentioned it is maintained this google hacking database is maintained by exploit db you are here in this page uh, while visiting this page each and every day each and every day they will be updating their uh, they'll be updating their uh, google hacking database uh, details so here you can see lots and lots of uh, google database uh, google hacking databases are available so uh, darts it is called as darts so the, it is available it is a combination of uh, the operators okay uh, various types of operators and uh, making it as a dark okay you can use these uh, such type of things and you can and you can get it uh, get sensitive information so even here uh, here in this here you can see the category in that you can get um, here it is okay while we doing search uh, we might get the git so this is a git uh, source file source directory so we have got it so like this way you can uh, get gather sensitive directory details in site you can even add site linkedin.com like this way you can make your own uh, google hacking database docs you can combine each and every darks as you want you can just uh, combine as many as you want okay so just uh, copying these things okay let's uh, try this one like this way here you can see that it's showing up the login page uh, you will be getting the login page of fuel cms okay so like this way you can uh, use anything else you want so in the in the place of ul you can even try to mention drupal so it, you might have a chance of getting the drupal um, login url so it's just doing a google search uh, in the same place we can change d to capital d so then see what it happens okay it failures but press okay uh, while using google database this is the main problem uh, google will uh, do a sus will might suspect uh, your activity as a robot so it will make you to it will ask you to confirm whether you are not a ro uh, you are a robot or not so like that way it, it might arise so don't worry about that you can keep on going okay like this way you can you have to do uh, penetration testing uh, you, you have to gather information so this is the way you need to do it uh, you can collect uh, these um, these dots and make it as a file or document and you can save it for your future purpose and it is up to you with this i am stopping today uh, in tomorrow's video we'll discuss more about uh, passive information gathering okay have a nice day Brother,